Here's how James checks depth. Okay, so <laughs> this is kilometer one of, I don't know, I think it's like 32 or 3,400 kilometers. So wish us luck, guys. We're leaving this white stuff behind. Good morning, or is it good evening? Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so. Put a solid 16 hours in yesterday. We got to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. We have another 15 or 16 hours to do today. And uh, uh, hopefully everything goes great. We'll update you along the way. did our Walmart run which is a huge thing to get out of the way and now we are pulling into 3P to get Loch Ness get all fixed up yeah get some power so hopefully not in anyone's way here so yeah I see they got a shirt pro sitting there so <laughs> okay they know what's up. okay I said they know what's up yeah exactly it is humid as heck I'm sweaty as heck after loading the crap out of the truck we bought like 10 bags of ice we're the lady, ready to the party. lady at the till asked me if we were moving here. Yeah, we had so much stuff. She's like, "Oh, you guys moving here?" Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going for six days, so you got, you need a lot of stuff. So is it going to be wrong when all of a sudden you see that I'm missing, and then I call you and say I'm at a hotel? <laughs> <laughs> you just be outside, just basking in the humidity, and you know you see Mrs. Asta when she comes down here because it's so dry and cold uh, up north, and she comes down here and she's just like. Uh, just her hands. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Guys, check out this pack job. 3,400 kilometers. And other than a couple sort of loose straps, everything is exactly, well, you can see it looks like Ghost moved forward a tiny bit. But man, <laughs> just the sk skimpiest strap jobs. That's what's so nice about an enclosed trailer. Usually nothing really moves. Okay, so we got to get Loch Ness unloaded. Um, as I was loading up at 11 o'clock at night, I, uh, that front drive shaft or front U joint on the drive shaft is got a bit of play in it. So we're going to swap out a drive shaft and then we're going to throw on uh, three P's icon clutch. I want to test out these new primary clutches. They got, it's a little bit of cost effective, um, versus like a QSC or an STM. So I'm super, <laughs> super <laughs> to try out. He says he's not sure above 8,500 RPM. I said, we'll test that for you. So we're gonna get that thrown on. We're gonna get drive shaft thrown on. We're gonna load the sucker back up and then we got about two and a half, two and three quarter hours and we are freaking there. Okay guys, these guys at 3P are flat out. So Josh is just uh, whipping this belt box off. We're gonna get this rear drive shaft changed, but this is like a full repair, full mod shop. These guys have, they've, they've sent builds to SEMA. So these are good dudes, real busy shop, really awesome shop. Lots of cool stuff sitting around. So we're in good hands. We're in good hands. Frick yeah. Okay, Josh gonna go take her for a quick rip, see what the shift out is. So sorry, I should have got a shot. When he comes back, I'll get a shot. So that's that new primary. 
still run an STM secondary with that really stiff black spring. And like, uh, I think I got, I'm running a 36 Helix, so try to get the shift out somewhere around 8,500, that'd be sweet. Which is easier said than done with 34s. 32s not so bad, 34 is pretty tough. It's nice to have a nice low engagement too. Big smile on his face when he comes back. Big 34, yeah, it, it's... It surprised me when I first hit it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, this is beast. Yeah, those 1085 motors run so good. It's just strong. Yeah. Both ends, the bottom and the top. Yes. Yeah, all the way through. Yeah, that's high praise. These guys have been running race bikes for years and years, so... Machop's really nice builds. Okay, I'll take it for a quick rip. You brought a gift? These are the little treats when you think your machine is clean and then you take your skid plate off. <laughs> we brought them a gift. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant that in an area and we're gonna create our own skeg field down in Texas. Just oh. kidding. You uh, authorities that are watching this, we are not doing that. We are bagging that up and taking it back to Canada. Don't you worry. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna drop a little bit of weight. So if you guys know all about clutch, sh clutch shift out and stuff, um, the more weight you drop to a certain point, obviously springs clutching itself is all like black magic but drop a bit of weight and uh you you keep the belt running lower you keep your gear ratio lower you're you are in in your peak peak power up near it would be nice to have it near 8500 right now we're around 8000 so we're just going to drop a little bit of weight and then take her for a quick spin and see where we're at so so yeah here's what i'm talking about this is adjustable weights so you always got bolt and washers some are tungsten some are different materials that weigh way more so there's all sorts of different stuff you can run so that's what's super cool is if you spend the time you can really get your machine dialed in and you can hear it in videos when someone's got their clutching dialed in man they're running they're running peak and it just just screaming so
Well, yeah, we were at home and now we're here. Yeah. Okay, half a mile. Half a mile to turn off. It is currently 79 degrees. It is currently mostly overcast. But it is, you know what it's not? It's not minus 25. It's not snowing. And we had a, oh, we're getting past. What? This guy's like, we're doing How snow. Me? We're doing over the speed limit. All right. That guy's in a hurry. Anyways, we're so freaking excited that we're here. I'm, oh. Whoa. Pay attention. Pay attention. <laughs> I mean, I didn't drive right by it. Okay, I here think we go. Did here, one we go. Time. here we go. Here we go. So here's the entrance to the park. It is a really nice park. The entrance is really good. Not, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably a little busy on you know Friday Saturday, but oh, yeah, you know nice. getting in and out isn't too bad here. Okay, we freaking made it. We just got in through the front gate. We are just waiting to talk to Tracy real quick, and then we are gonna go find the ultimate camping spot. Uh, I don't know how many people we're gonna have, like 15 or 20 people in our camp, so we gotta find a good chunk of area, but Sabine is freaking awesome. So if you guys, well, I don't know, by the time you're watching this video, I'm gonna try to upload, I'm gonna try to edit and upload this video tomorrow, so you'll have plenty of time to come down to Mud Nationals if you see this video. So heck freaking yeah. What a drive, 34 hours guys, like 3,300 kilometers we drove, so. But it went really good, everything went really good. The truck was awesome, the trailer was awesome. Everything went great. The guys at 3P were awesome, Loch Ness is freaking ripping. I can't wait to get out on these trails. <laughs> Like, yeah. I like to party. <laughs> I like to party. <laughs> when the shenanigans are already starting. Oh, he's almost got her. Oh, he's got her. Heck yeah. Oh, they already unhooked the trailer. Super smart. Good job, boys. Good job. Hey, good morning, guys. So it is Tuesday morning. Uh, it's about 9 a.m. The weather is sort of like that. But it's supposed to clear up and it's supposed to be sunny and hot today. So we are just getting this barbecue set up. Um, it's not supposed to rain anymore. So we're just kind of getting our outdoor stuff set up. We've got our solar panels set up. Put some power back in those Blue Eddies. So we ran the trailer off the Blue Eddy last night um, for all the fan and the lights and everything. And it worked, worked freaking fantastic. So heck yeah. Those things are so dang handy. Um, so anyways, we're gonna get started here and then we're gonna go freaking ride because we're gonna have the whole park to ourselves today So it's gonna be freaking exciting and look how clean these units are. We got to change that right now. All right Look who showed up freaking James is here Woo! My second Texas fun dash. How was how was little Sahara sound dunes? Ooh, awesome, but <laughs> Hard on the body? Hard on the body. I thought sand would be softer <laughs> Here. What's going on here? Oh, you know, that jack <laughs> fixing things. <laughs> Six <laughs> inch lift, five minutes in, and she's broken. <laughs> Can't handle it. Can we build it? <laughs> New to you tires here. Doing it. That's what happens when you run a close to a thousand horsepower. And that's yeah, wheel That's yeah. wheel horsepower, guys. Yeah, that's not exactly. crank horsepower. That's what happens. This kind of stuff happens. Learning game for all of us. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's how James checks depth. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Done. Oh. 
Oh. Still going, still going, it's still going. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> okay, we're in here on the we're here on the top secret how to unswamp. He's got a screwdriver. We can't really see it's on the other side of the machine. He's got to keep his secrets closely guarded, closely guarded secrets on this uh, top secret build. What do you got here? James is the literal definition of zero Fs. <laughs> Frig yeah. One thing about uh, showing up a couple days early, um, you just pay uh, a small fee for how many, however many days early, and then like literally, you get the whole park almost to yourselves. There's just a few smaller groups, but I'm telling you in a couple days, it's gonna be just <laughs> wall to wall bikes. So. If you really want to ride Sabine, just come a couple days early. Pay your, I think it's like 20 or $25 a day, something like that, and just come in and you can enjoy the park. Not that the crowds aren't awesome too, but at least you get both. Heck yeah. We gotta go find some mud though. I didn't see, I would have told you. Yeah, that's a deep one. You wanna come back? Pretty gnarly. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Yeah, we pull it to the side and then shift it that way. It's kind of like you can kind of like almost like crap walk through it. Oh, that's nasty stuff. And I'll guarantee that entire hole is like that. You just have to stay away from the winch line. James got never put that attitude though. Hey, he'll try to the side there. Oh, jeez. It's like super hard size and then just not one was good, but I don't think you do. He's 27 inch old, I'm work. There we go. 27, one power and three power. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Woo! Oh, that was nasty, guys. 
Nasty. Okay, here comes here comes some big rigs. saying he's running 50 so we're about uh, 49.9 inches deep there man did you see when he came in he just kept going down holy smokes rear winch oh big rear winch okay he's gonna pick up the slack here he might be able to just uh because he's still got he's still pulling good okay This is literally the perfect hole to test Loch Ness. Test that new 3P Icon clutch. What do you think, Russell? Hopefully we skim to here. <laughs> Just need a little shutdown area. This can be awesome. I would be lying if I didn't say I had butterflies coming out of my throat right now. <laughs> So you gotta kind of stay on top. That was good. Just try her nice short little home. Yeah, like I good. could probably do that. Yeah, that was good. Frick yeah. Dang guys, I missed Jordan going through. This is a really another really gooey hole here. Here goes Zach. Zach's a freaking excellent rider. This guy goes through holes and makes them look easy as heck. Man, what did I just say? Literally holy. Made it look like nothing. Really good. Off camera and stuff, he's just like, keep her on the throttle. You're good. Okay, here we go, here we go. I coached him. He's gotta come in hot though. Hot, hotter. Oh, not hot enough. Oh. Work it, just, just work it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> there we go, we got the perfect winch guy. The perfect tow guy. You wait till you, you, wait till you see him pull. He'll be standing on the front because it just wants to wheelie and man, I've seen him pull out a lot of guys where I'm like, he's got no chance. Okay, here we go. Oh, dang. Okay, we got to reset. Hang on. He said, please put this on YouTube. I'm like, you bet, partner. Reset. Okay, we're gonna reset. Body weight. Oh, so hard. It's 
almost there. Although this last little bit might be the toughest. There we go. There we go. Ah, got her! Freaking got her! <laughs> Heck yeah! That was Woo! I actually had to work for that. Yeah. Okay, Who wants to hug me? That was a gnarly hole. <laughs> hey! You needed to come in 14 times faster. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of cheating. Okay, so that is a giant climb up. There's a giant wall. It's not much of a hole, but it's a giant wall. Man, he's a good rider. Good job, buddy. Without that bit of momentum, it would have been hard to get up. We'll see here. See now, if a guy just kept a bit of momentum, boop, drive right out. There you go. See how? Ah, oh, you had it. You'll you'll get it from there though. Yeah. But I see how just that foot and a half of momentum changed everything. Hey, don't mind me talking you up in video. Why? I'm like, he just knows how to ride. He just uses momentum, man. You're making everything look easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Working really good. Still two. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Just back up one one machine length, and you should be able to crawl out in four. He's got her now. GoPro's on. But anyways, we just winched them out. It came out nice. I was just about to give a nice little a nice little plug plug for our Warren VRX winches because they are freaking awesome. Uh, but I didn't have my GoPro on.
We got ran over. Frick. You okay? Yeah. Saw that? Oh, no. It, I'm sure it's seen it. I was thrown over here, over. but I knew exactly what happened. I'm like, you're in the camera. He can't see. I'm yeah. like, frick. Yeah, man. It's like crap happens. Hey, he's just glad he says he's okay. We'll know in a few hours for sure. Assassinators. Yeah, totally. Okay, now that we got them pulled out, I'm gonna try to go whoop through there. We'll see. <laughs>
was. So I'd say, I don't know, it's probably three feet deep there somewhere. He did a dang good job. Don't run me over. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm starting to get sore. After yeah, I was going to say, he says he's okay, but we'll know for sure in a few hours. <laughs> Yeah, see, there's that little hole right there. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. You're in, uh, you're in drive or something. You're not in neutral. Hang on. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. This thing sounds crazy. <laughs> Is that a launch control? Yeah. Hey, just turn hard driver. Turn hard driver and creep ahead. Creep ahead? Yeah. Hard as you can driver. Keep going driver. You got her a little bit more? Yeah. There you go. You're just starting to hit it now. <laughs> Sorry. I kind of did that. You okay? Sorry, man. <laughs> I think I healed you. Okay, he's got her. He's got her. Perfect. I got a brand new Ranger at camp. I'm not worried about it. Nice. Okay. Jordan and that sick ass X3 are coming through here. Oh, that was so perfect. Literally, that was awesome. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he's still got his sway bars, he's good, just kidding. But look at that sunset, you guys. What a freaking day. Okay guys, that's what I'm talking about, this park. We passed one quad on the way home all the way out, all the way out from that one kind of skim hole. So that's gonna do it for day one video. I'm excited to get in there and start editing. Um, I've never really done this before, so we just had such an awesome day. We had such an awesome trip down, so this is basically a recap of all that. So as always, we wouldn't be able to do any of this without you guys. We freaking love you guys. Huge thanks to 3P Off-Road, that new Icon Clutch. I freaking love it. We got it dialed in, man. We're hitting 83, 84. It's just, just hitting right. Belt grip is awesome. We didn't take too much weight out, I don't think. We'll really know when we really get stuck because Loch Ness was such a beast. We kind of skimmed everything today. But but we were, we dropped in a couple holes, right? It, it, it pulled really well. Half pull did good. Mrs. Austin did good. Everyone, everyone in the group was awesome. So, like always, we wouldn't be able to do any of this without you. We freaking love you guys. Huge thanks again, Em. All right. Hope you liked the video. See you next video.